If you've opened music memos on your iPhone or iPad recently, you will have been confronted with this screen. Yes, music memos is on its way out. So in this video, I'm going to explain what that means for you and your music recordings in music memos. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, Music Memos is a great app. It's made by Apple and it's the companion app for GarageBand. It's where you get your ideas down, you can record them, and then you can add bass and drums. It's a great idea sketch pad. So why is Apple taking it away? Well, they're replacing it with voice memos. So they're taking away some of the cool functionality, but they have improved voice memos at the same time. Let's dive in and take a look at exactly what's going on. Here's what you'll be confronted with when you open up Music Memos with the latest version, which is 1.0.7. Yeah, we didn't even make it to 1.1. We barely knew you, Music Memos. So it says, Voice Memos is a convenient way to record on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or Apple Watch. You can now export your Music Memos recording to your Voice Memos library. Music memos will no longer be available to new users after 1 March 2021, but you can continue to use this version with iOS 14. Now we've got learn more, export and OK here. So to show you what this is actually going to do, I'm going to export here. But before I do, let's go through a few of the essential bits of information that Apple are saying and what's behind the words a little bit. And to learn a little bit more, I'm going to tap on the learn more button here. And this is going to take me over to this page here, transition from music memos to voice memos. So the information here is very similar to what we've just heard that yes, this version 1.0.7 will be the last one. So you do need to download it before the 1st of March next year if you want to use music memos. If you've already downloaded it, even if it's not on your device, you'll be able to access it from your app store. And I've got videos showing how to do this with apps like GarageBand and iMovie. So I'll link to those up there and down in the description. So what Apple would like you to do is actually shimmy your music memos recordings over to voice memos. So what I'm assuming this is going to mean, and we're going to try it in just a moment, that you're going to lose the ability to add your bass and your drums and do some of the other chord identification and trimming and all of that good stuff that we've shown in music memos. But it does seem like at least for iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 that you can continue using it after that date. There will just be no new updates. And if you haven't already downloaded it, you can't actually download it. It doesn't mention past that. So iOS 15, who knows, but we'll worry about that bridge when we get to it. So you can check out all the rest of the information here and it just gives you some more information there about what you can do here. But for now, let's jump back to that other screen on Music Memos and see how this is actually going to work. So in order to be the guinea pig, let's tap on this export button and see exactly what this is going to do. So export to voice memos, all your music memo recordings will be exported to voice memos. This process could take several minutes. All right, let's do it. I got time. Let's hit the export button. We're going to tap on that one. And what is going to happen? Tap it. There we go. Exporting. Now, I don't remember how many ideas I had on here. I don't think there were that many on my new iPad Pro. Most of mine are actually on my iPhone. So if you're like me, you probably use music memos more on your iPhone than you do on your iPad. So there you go. That is done. Uh, exporting is complete. Your music memos recordings have been successfully exported to voice memos. We're going to tap on OK. And uh, let's see what's happened here. If we go to my collection. So they're still all here. All of my ideas are still here in music memos, but it sounds like they've also, or it looks like they've also been moved across. So here's what we're going to miss. We're going to miss the ability to do all these things, right? We're not going to be able to come in here and edit and add chords and change time signatures and set tempos and then export out to GarageBand. I mean, we are because it's still here, but they're not going to be updating. And it sounds like in the future, they may not be supporting music memos. So that's the good news is when you do export them, they still stay here. I can still create a brand new memo by just tapping on here. Yeah, 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 this is cool. I don't have a microphone plugged in. So it recorded nothing, but that's how you can actually use music memos. And again, yes, I've got a complete video about music memos because I still think it's a valid app and it still looks like you're going to be able to keep using it. So check that one up, up there and down in the description as well. Let's now jump over to voice memos and see what's going on over there. 
So I've opened up voice memos and here are my voice memos. These are all the other memos that I've recorded here on my iPhones and iPads over the years. Probably some really interesting stuff in there. But anyway, with my music memos, they're going to be in a folder. So to get to our folders here in voice memos, we tap in the top left and you can see it's conveniently given us an entire folder for our music memos. So let's tap on that one and take a look. And here you go. Here are all of the different ones. If I want to come into this acoustic jam from February 2019, I can come in there and hit the play button. Groovy. But quite clearly, we don't have all the editing functions. Now, if you haven't used voice memos, not all is lost. It does have some pretty cool editing these days. We tap on the edit button there. We can still do some basic editing in here. We can do some trimming. We can do some replacing. We can do some very basic functions. And now that Apple have clearly shown us that this is the future of quick recording on your iPhone and iPad, I'll definitely be returning to do a complete voice memos tutorial in the future. Or if you're in the future, it may already be there. If it is, it'll be up the top or in the description. So that is where we're at here at the moment. Music memos has gone away. What do you think about this? Let me know down in the comments. Is this a good move? Is it a bad move? Do you not even use it anyway? Are you finding out about music memos for the very first time right now? I'd love to hear from you about what you think about this change. Uh, you can check out other videos down in the description about music memos, GarageBand, and all sorts of mobile creating goodness. But until next time, I'll see you next time. Take care.